Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain in React JS how to sort an array of a string from A to Z and Z to A. Now let's check the final output how to sort an array of a string A to Z and Z to A. This is an array of a string. Now if a user wants to display a to z so here we got anita arun ben sharon jack a to z in display now if a user wants to display z to a see it's displaying the reverse z to a if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel React.js playlist. And in my previous video I have explained how to sort an array ascending and descending order in React.js. This is an array if a user wants to uh, get the ascending order, so here we got the ascending order. If you want to get the descending order, here we got the descending order, ascending order and descending order. If you don't know how to sort an array ascending and descending order, you can find that video in my play, React.js playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial, switch over to the Visual Studio code. And this is a code in my previous video I have shown um, to sort an array ascending and descending order. Let's close this one which we don't require for this tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js applications. So here I have already created one application project. In this project there is a source folder. Now in the source folder I'm creating one JS file which is a React.js component. Right click the source file, new file. And the file name is string array string array array dot js and here we got the string array dot js file now in order to create this js file as a component first in react js there are two types of components one is functional component and the second one is a class component here in this example i'm using class component before creating a component, first we must import the React class from the React library. So let's add that one first. Import React from React library. After that, I'm defining one simple class, and the class name is my uh, file name string array extends React dot component. And every class at the end of this at the end of the component we must export default and file name is string array which is a component name also and after that between the curly brackets in class component there are two methods are very important one is a render method render method inside this render method we have the return method this return method contains the output what i want to show the output on the browser this return method will display this return method i'm adding the root component or uh, root element which is a div container the root element is in react.js application if you want to add more than one element one html element we must add div containers or empty tags here in this case I'm adding do container which is a root element inside this root element I can add number of HTML elements h1 how to sort an array of a string let's do this one a to z a to z and Z to A H3 React.js tutorials 
after that i'm adding one simple horizontal line let's put this everything in the center tag i'm closing the center tag after the horizontal line and now i want to display an array of a string so uh, what we'll do is first we'll check the output this string array component is displaying or not on the browser let's save this file first save all in order to run this component first we must configure our component in index.js file the index.js file you can find in the source folder here i already opened my index.js file and notice here we have as ascending and descending component this is my previous example component we have which i don't require so i'm deleting that component and i'm adding string array which i have created right now i'm importing the component in the header section in the index.js file now let's save this file save all now switch over to the browser reload the page and here we got the new output how to sort an array of a string a to z and z to a and h3 tag which is the react.js tutorials after that we have one, uh, one horizontal line now below the horizontal line here i want to get some array of a string so to create a string array we require uh, one state state is equals to let's define student names student names as to names is equal colon array uh, here in this array first one is a uh, charan comma charan peter vijay sam Arun Ben Mark Salman Jack Anita For this example demo purpose I have added few string which are the student names I have added in this state. Now to display the state in this written method, simply uh, let's put in a strong between the strong tags. I got an expression between curly brackets. This dot state dot student names. Our state name is a student names. That's it now let's save this file save all compile successfully we'll check the output so here we got all the student names here which is the array but here one problem is i require the commas between two student names for that i'm adding one join method the join method separates the arrays so it takes a string operator I'm adding comma and I'm giving some space between two student names. Now let's save this file. Compile successfully again. We we'll check the new output. So here we got Chan, Peter, Vijay, Sam, Arun. Now my aim is I will add two buttons to display the student names A to Z and Z to A. So first let's add two buttons after the horizontal line. I'm adding button. Um, button. Close the button. Sort. A to Z. Let's give some space for the second button. And the SP. I'm adding one pipe symbol. Instead of writing, I'm copying the same button and it is a, it's a Z to A. I'm 
MBSP 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 Now let's save this file Save all We'll check the new output Let's give some break here And now, if a user wants to display these student names in an A to Z, I want to get in an A to Z order. As the same thing I'm expecting from Z to A in the reverse order. Switch over to the coding part. Now we require one function which is an event ascending order. In class component, when we want to update or modify any state, we use a set state hook. Only for the class component, we use set state hook to update or modify the state. Here, I want to update the state because I want to display ascending order a to z. So this dot set state is a method. In this method, we'll call see the state, which is the state names. This dot state dot state names dot sort method in the sort method it's a compared function so let's add one function a comma b a comma b and here return i was expecting the return a dot in javascript function there is a a uh, function called uh, locally compare locally compare i'm comparing this a string with b that's it and we have to call this function in this button click event which is on click is equals to let's add the arrow function this dot my function name. Now the same thing, a reverse to display z to a. Uh, let's display this is a descending order. And instead of I'm comparing b, I'm comparing b with a, the locally compare method, which compares the string values. And everything is same. We need to add this function to this on click event. On click event is equals to I'm creating one string function arrow function this dot descending order. That's it. Uh, instead of break, what I'll do is instead of strong, let's put this h1. h1. So the U displays in a bigger size. The text displays bigger size. Let's save this file. We'll check the new output. Compile successfully. I'm reloading the browser. Now let's check the final output. How to sort an array of a string a to z and z to a. This is an array of a string. Now if a user wants to display a to z. So here we got Anita, Arun, Ben, Sharon, Jack, A to Z in display. Now if a user wants to display Z to A, see it's displaying the reverse Z to A. And that's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to sort an array of a string from A to Z and Z to A in ReactJS. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial.